Hi, welcome to the Purple Fox Kitchen. My name is Julie and today we are going to make a pesto pasta salad. It is a cold salad. It's made with pasta, fresh pesto, fresh mozzarella cheese, and tomatoes. It is delicious. It is a fan favorite of the summer. I've made it many times for many barbecues and it is the one dish that everyone keeps going back for more. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it today. So what I'm gonna do is start with cutting some tomatoes. I use grape tomatoes in this salad and rather than having them whole because these are rather big, I'm gonna cut them all in half. Now when I cut them, I like to cut them the long way, not, not this way, but the long way. And I know a lot of people have trouble cutting tomatoes. Maybe their knives aren't sharp enough, which is a common occurrence. Use a bread knife. The bread knife always wins and it's very easy. I mean, it's so easy. So I'm gonna cut all these tomatoes in half. Get two seconds. Okay, all of my tomatoes are cut. I'm gonna push them off to the side. And now I have fresh mozzarella. Now, a lot of times there are little pints of fresh mozzarella that are little balls that you can get. But today I got a block of fresh mozzarella instead, just to change it up a little bit. But either one is fine. Any fresh mozzarella that you find is what you want. It's gorgeous fresh mozzarella. So I'm gonna cut big slices of this. And then I'm gonna make really big dices. So you can see, we now have good size pieces of fresh mozzarella. Okay, all of my mozzarella is also now cut up. Now I had pre-cooked some pasta. I cooked eight ounces of pasta. So I have a box, they usually come in a one pound. Now the pasta that I use today is a chickpea pasta. It has no gluten, it's gluten free. It's absolutely delicious. We eat it in my house all the time. We don't eat regular pasta anymore. We always eat the chickpea pasta. So I decided to use that today instead. I hope you'll try it. If not, any pasta is great. And I also really like the spiral pasta because it, it grabs onto the pesto better than a flat pasta. So also what I'm gonna add to this is I have some fresh basil pesto that I made earlier. I have a lot of basil around my house this summer. I've been making a lot of pesto. Super easy, super quick, super delicious. So what we're gonna do is just pour some of this pesto on here, a good amount. I'll use the whole thing, may as well. It's delicious. Good amount of tomatoes. Make sure you wash your tomatoes. And fresh mozzarella. Mm. Now right away, I'm gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. Little pinch. And, and when you season things, always season from above because you can easily disperse the salt and pepper over everything. If you're far down here, you're only gonna get the salt and pepper on one area. So make sure you hold it up and you, and you disperse evenly. Little trick. Okay, now we'll give this a little toss. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen up the pesto just a little bit with some extra virgin olive oil. So I'll take a little extra virgin. Just do like once around. There we go. And to give it a nice little acidity, what's better with pesto and mozzarella and tomatoes than balsamic vinegar? So this I am also just gonna give a one little, little splash. Just, just so you can Get a hint, but you don't want it to overpower the dish. Mix it up. Oh, see, it's nice and shiny. Now it's time for the taste test. So easy, it's so refreshing. You're gonna keep it in the fridge. 
serve it at a barbecue. Everyone is going to love this, I promise you. Get some mozzarella. Mm. You get the vinegar, but it's just enough. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. Bring out the flavors just a little bit more. Mm. This really is just the best summer dish. And you can even make this warm. If you want to use warm pasta and add tomatoes and fresh mozzarella, the mozzarella will get warm and gooey and melted. Nothing wrong with that either. And this pasta, this chickpea pasta, it's really just awesome. I really suggest you try it. Mmm, perfect. So good. Mmm, so good. So fresh. Now, when you plate this up, I have one little trick for you. In this pan, I have some fresh pine nuts. Now, there's pine nuts in my pesto. So just for texture and a little crunch, I'm gonna turn on my stove, and on medium heat, I'm gonna toast the pine nuts. It's not gonna take long. You wanna do it on the stove. It'll probably just take a couple minutes. You'll smell it, they'll smell nutty. And we're gonna garnish with that. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and on medium heat, I've been toasting the pine nuts. Dry pan, nothing in there, and you can see they're getting really nice and golden brown. Nice and toasty. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plate up our pasta, present it really nice. I am telling you the next time someone invites you to a barbecue, make this, bring it, they're gonna love it. Take some nice basil. A beautiful garnish. It's all about presentation. Take some toasted pine nuts, put those on top. And voila, a gorgeous pesto pasta salad with fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, toasted pine nuts. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my show. Follow my YouTube channel, The Purple Fox Kitchen. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you again soon. Thanks.